6,583 clues have come and gone, but 26 new ones are headed your way as part of this 59th episode of Disney 100 Jeopardy. Welcome in. As always, I am your host, Brian Perry, and thank you so much for joining me. You know the deal. We're going to check out the rules now. Here they are. If this is your first time playing, welcome in. If it's not, you want to cheat, go right ahead. Live that life. I don't care. So be my guest. In last week's episode 58, I dropped the ball and did not include a St. Patrick's Day category, but I did include it in Final Jeopardy, as you see it right there. St. Pat's carries over to this week's episode, so you all will be celebrating St. Patrick's Day a week late. For that, I apologize. And if St. Patrick's Day is not your thing, fear not, because I've got four other brand new categories to test that Disney knowledge on. So without further delay, let's check out what they are. Once again, St. Pat's will kick things off. The second category you'll be playing, ABC Shows. I will read you a quote from an ABC television show. You will have to tell me what show that quote is from. The third category you'll be playing. This one was requested for a while, The Greatest Showman. I told you last week or a few weeks ago that I was going to do The Greatest Showman very soon, and that day is today. Five clues all about the 20th Century Fox production, which of course is now owned by Disney. The fourth category you'll be playing, it's your Disney Parks category of the week. The other guys. No, this is not about the extremely underrated comedies starring Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. I love that movie. This is about Disney Parks' competition. So basically, all the other theme parks, aka the other guys that might reside near a Disney park or resort. And the fifth and final category you'll be playing a goofy movie. I'll be honest, I think a goofy movie was the most requested category in months. So if you wished for a goofy movie, I grant that wish. Your lucky day is today. Okay, it is now time for the easiest round of the game, the Cupcake Round. Each of these clues worth just 200 points each. Hopefully you go five for five. Bank a thousand points under your belt, but if not, fear not, because then we will move on to more difficult clues. And if you get these wrong, you might probably get those wrong too, but that's for later in the game. Here we go. We start with St. Pat's for two. In an episode titled Homer vs. the 18th Amendment, the main character of this show starts a beer bootlegging business after a rowdy St. Patty's celebration. What is The Simpsons? Hey, everybody's wearing green. Oh no. We move on to ABC shows for the first time. All magic comes with a price. Trust me, I've done you a favor. All magic comes with a price. We move on now. Here comes the greatest showman's first clue. Hugh Jackman stars in the lead role as this man. Who is P.T. Barnum? P.T. Barnum, at your service. And we are on to the other guys for two. Originally standing as just a movie studio, this popular vacation destination converted to a theme park in 1964 and is located just north of Los Angeles and Beverly Hills. What is Universal Studios Hollywood? I prefer Universal Orlando Resort, but I have to say Universal Studios on either coast is probably Disney's biggest competition, right? You would argue that. I, I kind of put them in the same stratosphere, and then it's like everybody else. Um, but yeah, Universal's right there. They're right there with Disney. Uh, if you like them more, I respect that. I respect that. Let's finish off the cupcake round now. We move on to a Goofy movie for 200. The name of Goofy's son. Who is Max? Max! 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 Max!
that does it for the cupcake round. Hopefully you've got a thousand points stashed away in your bank as we move on to the second round where these clues are worth twice as much. We begin with St. Pat's for 400 points. Head to Disney Springs to dine at this Irish restaurant. What is Raglan Road? ABC shows now for four. Not the mama. Yeah, what can I say? I pride myself on my Gaston and Baby Sinclair impersonations. Baby Sinclair, of course, is from Dinosaurs. Not the mama, not the mama, not the mama. You do that one more time and I'm gonna throw you across the room. Dinosaurs is one of the greatest shows ever. We move on now to the third clue in the 400 point round. It comes from The Greatest Showman. These two Disney Channel stars join together to sing Rewrite the Stars. Who are Zac Efron and Zendaya? Here comes another clue about the other guys. Opened just a year after Animal Kingdom, this Universal Orlando park features rides like The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man and Dudley Do-Right's Rip Saw Falls. Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man is the greatest non-roller coaster ride ever created outside of the Tower of Terror. I'd say they're in a dead heat. Uh, and Dudley Do-Right's is the best log flume in Orlando. It might be the only log flume in Orlando now, but it is the best. The correct answer is Islands of Adventure. Here comes the final clue of the 400s. It's from a Goofy movie. Max lies to Roxanne and tells her that he's headed to LA to see this artist in concert. Correct answer is Powerline. Um, uh, Roxanne, uh, my dad is, uh, my dad's taking me to the Powerline concert in LA. I just rewatched a goofy movie today, and Powerline's, you know, awesome. I should do a, I sh you know what? I should do a category on, like, fake celebrities in, uh, Disney movies. That's a good idea. That's coming soon. Just thought of it now. Uh, but yeah, goofy movie really holds up. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. We move on to the 600 point round now as things get a little tougher. We're back over to St. Pat's. This here is Patrick, a small leprechaun who lives in a tree within this place. The correct answer is Disneyland, or you could say Adventureland within Disneyland. But yeah, Patrick is from the Little Man at Disneyland Golden Book that came out in 1955, the same year that Disneyland opened. I believe the plot of his little book goes that he was living in a tree and Mickey and Donald show up and they tell him about Walt's plan to build Disneyland and he checks out the blueprints. He's like, this is pretty cool. Can I live here? And they're like, yeah, that's pretty much it from what I understand. I haven't read the book, if you couldn't tell. But, uh, but yeah, it's a cool story and it was promoting Disneyland back in the mid 50s for the park's big opening. We move on now. Here comes the second clue of the 600 point round and it brings us to ABC shows. McDreamy was doing the McNasty with McHottie. Makes me want McDonald's. The correct answer is Grey's Anatomy. Oh, uh, McDreamy was, was doing the McNasty with McHottie. Yeah, I used to watch Grey's Anatomy like 16 years ago. That show's been on forever. I remember back when they had like the bomb episode and the original cast and they were all interns or whatever. I have no idea what's going on now, but that was a scandalous hospital. We move on now. Here comes the third clue of the 600 point round from The Greatest Showman. The first half of this song is sung by the child versions of Michelle Williams and Hugh Jackman's characters. Eventually, time progresses and we see them dancing on a roof as adults, while the song continues to play. The 
The correct answer is A Million Dreams. A million dreams are keeping me away. Let's move on to the other guys for six. With a sister park located in Williamsburg, Virginia, this Tampa theme park houses famous coasters like Iron Gwazi, Cheetah Hunt, and Kumba. I mentioned before that Universal and Disney are kind of on the same level. I would say Busch Gardens is on that next level right there, just right under them, because Busch Gardens does a great job. That is the correct answer here. Their theming is awesome. Their entertainment is awesome. They have great thrill rides. And then it's everybody else. So, yeah, I would say uh, Disney, Universal, Busch in that order. We move on to the final clue of the 600-point round. It belongs to a Goofy movie. When they play 20 questions in the car, Goofy successfully guesses that Max is thinking of this person. Who else would he be thinking of but Walt Disney? You think of a name and I'll try and guess who it is. A uh, man or woman? Oh, man. Man. Oh. Hmm. That's a toughie. Oh, let's see. Walt Disney! Right. <laughs> well, I'm good at this. We are more than halfway through the game as we now enter the dangerous 800-point round, beginning with St. Pat's. Earlier this month, this Patrick made a surprise in-person return to welcome guests aboard Soren. Who is Patrick Warburton? Hello. <laughs> And welcome. Welcome to Soren. On to clue number two in the 800 point round. It's from ABC Shows. And there it is. It's another daily double. That's because I'm about to read the 1,600th clue in Disney 100 Jeopardy history. So make those wagers on your knowledge of ABC Shows. I'll tell you now, it's a show that's no longer on television. So if you're pretty good about TV programming, it might be worth it to go all in. And if you're not, it might be worth it to go all in. Anyway, because, you know, it's just for fun. Here we go. It's time to read the clue. We have to go back, Kate. We have to go back. Now, if you're a fan of this show, that was a gimme, and I will say it's in my top three, four shows of all time. Love it so much. And you know what? The ending wasn't that bad, guys. The correct answer is lost. We have to go back, Kate. We have to go back! I'll debate any of you if you think that Lost had a terrible ending. It was good. Just need to watch it again and look at it from a different angle, I think. Because, yeah, it wasn't that bad. People were bashing it. Anyway, yeah, hopefully you got all those points. Uh, and guessed the loss correctly. We move on now. Here comes the fourth clue from The Greatest Showman. In this viral clip from rehearsals, Hugh Jackman, one day removed from having a doctor tell him he's not allowed to sing, gets overtaken by emotion and sings this tune, a tune that plays towards the end of the film. Man, this clip is Awesome. If you love The Greatest Showman and haven't seen it yet, you gotta go back and watch this clip. It's so good. He is singing From Now On. We move on now. Here comes the other guys for 800. Just a few months ago, Smuckers stopped selling jams labeled with this name on them, a name that is now more synonymous with a large theme park less than eight miles from Disneyland than it is with grocery items. The correct answer is Knott's Berry Farm. And here comes clue number 20 in this episode 59. It's from a Goofy movie. When he's done eating in the car, Max writes this out with the letters in his soup.
The correct answer is hi, Dad. There you go, 20 clues are down and six remain, but before we get there, you know what time it is. It is time for the most overly dramatic soundtrack infused, unnecessarily spotlighted part of the game, the 1,000 point round. Hit it. All right, to kick off the 1,000 point round, I hope you're knowledgeable about your St. Patrick's Day film history, because that is what's kicking off this final round. Young Sean Connery stars in this movie that features a character named King Brian, spells it wrong, who happens to be a 21-inch leprechaun. The correct answer is Darby O'Gill and the Little People. Here comes your final clue from ABC Shows. It's worth a thousand points. The ghosts of people who had part of Wisteria Lane were gazing upon her as she passed. The correct answer here is Desperate Housewives. The ghosts of people who had been a part of Wisteria Lane were gazing upon her as she passed. On to the final clue from the Greatest Showman category. In the song The Other Side, after a bit of a back and forth, Barnum agrees to give Carlisle this percentage of the show's profits to have him join as a junior partner. Now, if you said The Other Side is the number one song on the soundtrack, credit to you, because it was my favorite song before the movie came out. I remember listening to the soundtrack, but the correct answer is 10%. 15, I do 8, 12, maybe not, 10. Don't you want to get away? We move on. Here comes the final clue from the other guys. It's worth a thousand. Featuring locations in Orlando and Kissimmee, these parks forego an admission price and instead charge specifically for wristbands and ride tickets. The correct answer is Fun Spot America. We move on now to the final clue on the board. It brings us to a goofy movie for one last time. When Bigfoot ends up with headphones on his head, he starts dancing to this song. The correct answer is Stayin' Alive. <laughs> so there you go, 25 clues down, one remains, and it just so happens to be the one clue that will ultimately determine how proud of yourself you will be as we enter the weekend. Let's check out the category in this episode 59. Themes in reverse. Okay, so you might remember I did songs in reverse way back in the day where I played a famous Disney song and you had to identify what song it was. Now what I'm going to do is play you a song that has no words, but it's from a Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars movie, one of those, and you'll simply have to identify what movie the song plays in. All right, make those wagers on your knowledge of Disney music. Okay, time is up. It's time to see how well you know your Disney songs as they play in reverse. Listen up. And as I did last time, I'll play it for you one more time. All right, time is up. So how well do you know your Disney songs? Can you name them in reverse? Can you at least name what movie they are from? It's time to find out if you got this one right. The correct answer is... What is up? That 
will do it for this episode of Disney 100 Jeopardy. If you like what you saw, you know the deal. Subscribe, click that bell icon. Hello, bell. Regular bell is back. Uh, this way you're notified every time we come out with brand new content. I've been your host, Brian Perry. I'll see you next week, next Friday, for the big episode 60. I have to break out the Haunted Mansion shirt for that big celebratory episode. And it will feature themes in reverse from all Disney properties. I hope to see you then. Until then. Bye-bye.